There's a phrase that has been used very often since the terrible terrorist attack in Israel on the 7th of October, and that is Am Yisrael Chai, the nation of Israel lives, or the nation of Israel will live. And this is part of a, a song that is often sung on Simchat Torah, when we dance with the Torah. Am Yisrael Chai, the nation of Israel lives, Oda Vinu Chai, our father still lives. What do we mean by Oda Vinu Chai, our father still lives? Who is our father? Is it perhaps Hashem? We refer to Hashem as Avinu, Avinu Malkeinu, our father, our king. No. When we say Oda Vinu Chai, our father is still alive, we are referring to Yaakov, Jacob. What do we mean by Oda Vinu Chai? There's a fascinating passage in the Talmud where one of the sages said, Yaakov Avinu lo mate. Our forefather Jacob never died. So why does he say this? Because if you, if you see the description of Jacob on his deathbed, the Torah uses a lot of verbs like he expired, he was gathered to his people, but it actually doesn't say the word vayamot, and he died. And therefore this sage of the Talmud says, Yaakov Avinu lo mate, he didn't die. To which his colleague says, what do you mean he didn't die? It says in the Torah that he was embalmed, it says that they took his coffin to Israel and they buried him in the Machpelah, in the cave in Hebron. So what do you mean? He didn't die. The Torah seems to indicate they buried him. So he answers and he says, well, you know, I know what you're saying, but I have a verse that indicates to me that, that connects Jacob to his children. And as long as the children of Jacob are still alive, Yaakov is still alive. As long as Bnei Yaakov are still alive, Yaakov is still alive. That's what we mean when we say, Oda Vinucha, our forefather is still alive. But what does it mean? Yaakov Avinu Lo mate. It's a strange, strange statement that he never died and he's still alive. What does that mean? Why don't we say it about the other fathers? Well, when it comes to Abraham, Abraham, of course, is, is a father, an ancestor of the Jewish people, but he's an ancestor of other nations also. He's the ancestor of, of Yishmael and his nation. Yitzhak was our patriarch, our father. But Yitzhak had Esau. Esau was the, the father of the Edomites and eventually the Romans. But Yaakov, all of his children became the tribes of Israel. And those other nations have disappeared. But the Jewish people remain intact. There are so many different empires that have come and gone. The Egyptian Empire, the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, the Persian Empire. This one, that one, the other. And we still remain alive. And by remaining alive, but not just remaining alive, by being productive and learning and, and, and being people who have a fertile mind and want to grow all of the time, despite all of the hardships that come upon us, we keep the memory, not just the memory, but we keep the soul of Yaakov alive. As long as his children are still alive, he is still alive. He is the father of the, of the tribes of Israel. And this should give us so much encouragement. It's been a very difficult time for the Jewish people since Simcha Torah, 7th of October. But Oda Vinuchai, our father is still alive. We carry on what he stood for. We carry on the legacy that he brought to us and he continues to live with us. Ad Mashiach until the coming of the Messiah. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.